Precision of movement is very important maybe the wrist being too high or too low, and our AI technology would observe exactly that. Could you please in the, the same legato? Oh. I'm working with Irina on a computational platform to assist violin players in learning how to play the violin. Our project combines the expertise of traditional violin pedagogy with artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. Our aim is to ultimately create software that will be able to provide guidance for all string instruments and even other instruments. Learning an instrument is a very complex process that involves many components, including the motor system, visual motor coordination, auditory feedback that the player requires, and of course the instructions that the teacher gives. You're pinching, pulling the string a little bit. Usually lessons are on a weekly basis, and in between the student is left on his own to practice. And here we come in. Our system will observe the players using vision and audio and will analyze the playing in order to give appropriate feedback and also to give suggestions on what to practice. On a human level, the challenge would be to convince colleagues, students and parents that what we're trying to do is not to replace the violin teacher but to create a virtual teaching assistant. Other challenges are how do we communicate to the student uh, and what do we communicate to the student. Obviously, we do not want to overload the student cognitively. And we have to give feedback that is appropriate for the virtual environment. Our team is the recipient of the prestigious Maryland Innovation Initiative Award, an award that allowed us to conduct an entire academic year of intensive video sessions with young players, digitalizing music, even coding music, a process that is very interesting. We got together with neuroscientists and auditory people on EEG analysis. You basically have electrodes that you put from the scalp and you can measure over time which parts of the brain are working. The Arts for All initiative announced by President Daryl Pines to open the arts for underserved and underrepresented communities lines up perfectly with our research. But how about the young players that don't have the means to afford a private teacher? How about the young players that live in geographical spaces where there are no expert violin teachers? The young generation is so tuned into technology. So the concept of a practice body would be very helpful. It's a challenging task to design an application that students will be using their handheld devices. They cannot be expected to place them ideally, so we will have to deal with partial views, with occlusions, and all this we want through a deep analysis of understanding sound and vision to correct. I think this is a, a wonderful chance for technology and tradition to become one.